but let's get started. First of all, the place where we are now, I'm going to switch the camera. This place is called Suvilahti. And this is an old power plant. And there used to be gas uh, containers as well. Those big things that you can see there. And uh, nowadays it has transformed totally. So 100 years ago those, bu those buildings out there were built. And uh, this was an industrial area for quite a long time. But quite recently, uh, within the past 10 years, it has been transformed into this cultural hub. It's the second biggest cultural hub in Helsinki, next to Kaapeli Tehdas, which is on the other side of the city. That is also a uh, industrial, old industrial area. Nowadays, Suvilahti, this area here, is best known for one big festival that happens every summer except for this summer most likely that is called flow festival so all instagram and social media influencers will be there and they will be dressed uh, beautifully but also this place is well known for this big graffiti wall which is the first legal graffiti wall in helsinki and all of finland basically Doing graffiti on the walls in Helsinki itself, in the city itself, is not allowed. And you won't find a lot of graffiti. And that's probably one of the reasons why Helsinki is not well known as a street art destination. Our streets are somewhat boring maybe, but then you have these places where you can find beautiful, beautiful street art, which is totally legal. And I see there's a question about what are these wood pieces themselves. And that's a really good question, because this is a totally new project. It's called Asdama Hell, which means Assembly of Dark Matter Helsinki. Basically, this is a piece of art, collective art, where everybody can bring their own little addition as you can see these little dolls here made of uh, branches people have brought them here and uh, it is part of Tuska art and design festival some of you may know Tuska uh, festival which is a heavy metal hardcore music festival that normally happens in Finland but now, since uh, we can't gather, people can't gather together, at least ideas and uh, innovations can gather together. So this is why this piece of art, art has been brought here by Tuska Art Festival and the city of Helsinki. And uh, the idea of this whole thing is this, this was only brought here in the beginning of, uh, uh, of this month and it will stay here until end of um, until end of May and afterwards the whole thing will be burned down as a bonfire and the idea is that everybody can bring something that is uh, uh, sustainable and can be burned down so no plastic or no nasty things but if you want to create your own piece of art you can bring it here for example I have made this from cardboard and I will put it somewhere nice so that it will stay there until the whole thing will be burned down. The idea is also that uh, all of the things you bring here can be pain and agony that you're feeling. And when you bring it here, uh, it will be all burned out or burned down at some point. So yeah, this is something totally new. Uh, hasn't been here for long and won't be here for long either. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, when the bonfire is lit up. But then we have this long graffiti wall where you always find new pieces of art, basically. Some of them maybe have some uh, political uh, stories behind them and some of them have different kind of uh, messages. For example, this one here, it says Äiti, and it says Hyvää Äitien Päivää, which means mother. 
and happy Mother's Day, because Mother's Day was just a while back, last Sunday, at least here in Finland. And the whole idea of this graffiti wall is that there's no rules that you should keep somebody else's piece of art intact. You can paint on top of any of these paintings as long as you're not just doing it to ruin something. You need to be creating art. You can maybe even combine your piece of art with something that's already there. And this used to be only about 100 meters, but now it's a little bit longer. You can see the whole wall stretches all the way to the end out there. Where we also have one old industrial building, which is more than 100 years old. And nowadays Kattila Halli hosts, hosts events and flea markets, for example. So it's also a really interesting place uh, whenever it's possible to gather around. We also find a little bit more active street art just from around the corner here. This is where we will find do-it-yourself skateboard or skate park where normally uh, on a normal summer day or spring day you would find a lot of kids just having fun and doing their tricks. Today it's really empty, not only due to corona but also because earlier today it was snowing here in Helsinki, then it was raining and right now we have about plus five Celsius out here, so it's not necessarily the nicest weather to be outside, but as long as you dress properly, you'll be fine. That's my one of my tips for traveling to the Nordic countries is to always have some waterproof gear with you and some warm gear with you so that you can put them uh, like layers on top of layers when it gets cold and then after a moment it might get warmer again so here let's take a little sneak peek inside this is the skate park skate park nobody there right now but often i see a lot of cool kids having fun out here and i'll show you another recent piece of art that has been just established here from reused materials. This uh, old school radio has just been built a couple of weeks ago, I believe. I didn't see it a while back. In general, Suvilahti area is really cool because it promotes community feeling and also do-it-yourself kind of lifestyle and also sustainable living because we have the flea markets here and you can make art from old pieces of uh, bicycle parts for example then right there on top we also have a bench that has solar panels on top so if you come here skating you can also get some power from there in addition to this street art, there's also circus, modern circus called Circo, and then there's a circus school called Helsinki Circus. So in case you're into more performing art, that's also this is also your place to come whenever you can travel again. This is definitely a good place for families indeed, uh, if you are more the kind of uh, active kind of family and if you want to try something by yourself. Uh, in general you might know that uh, Finnish people are not necessarily so easy going when it comes to uh, small talk and just uh, getting to know um, new people. We are kind of shy normally but we are also super curious so if you ever fa travel to Finland make sure you ask help from some Finnish person they might seem really crumpy first but I can assure you that 
at least after three people you will find somebody who will be happy more than happy to help you and assist you and uh, they will probably take you all the way to the place where you want to go not only show you the way Finnish people are, are also really honest so if they don't know uh, where you should be going they won't tell you go that way if you actually should be going that way so that's one of the typical characteristic of Finnish people they seem grumpy first but they are happy in the end so basically all you need to do is to break the ice break the ice and you'll make good friends for life at least uh, that's my experience and let's continue with the more graffiti here there's a lot of graffiti related to moms and that makes sense all moms need their need their appreciation then we have something wise and uh, perhaps a clam the tricky thing about <laughs> street art and graffiti obviously is that Everybody has their own unique style, so at times it's hard to tell what's written there. You might need to take a bit more distance or go a little bit closer to see the hidden message. Here's another one saying wise, and then there's a skull. Interesting. This one is a brand new one, I believe only two days or something like this. You people lock down and then it maybe says fool and pandemic 2020 hmm. if you if you have a better idea what it actually says in the bit middle is it joe is it fool i don't know let me know if you if you are better at reading these more beautiful colorful street art here I think it's really nice because when you look at the sky right now, even though we have a glimpse of blue there, it's really grey. And quite often Helsinki is really grey. So it's great that we have this place. Oops, I need to be careful of a bicycle. Da -da -da. So yeah, it's nice to have a place where you can always see some colour. This one I cannot read, but the next one says Virta this one right here and Virta means power I don't know the exact story of this artist but it makes sense because this used to be an old power plant so you can get some power and energy from these beautiful colorful paintings and then there's nocturnal creatures and wild with the moon really beautiful and as you can see I'm not lying, people are actually painting new stuff all the time. Right there you can see two artists doing their work. And there's an older piece below and new one coming on top. So this is the beauty of this place. I personally usually come here because I pass by to go for a walk in an island uh, which is nearby called Mustikkama, also a really nice uh, swimming beach there and some outdoor activities like tennis and basketball fields free to use uh, those are all run by the city of Helsinki so if you have your own own uh, playing gear you can grab those and go for a active day so in case you ha are lucky enough to spend a bit more time in Helsinki make sure to check out this place if you know how to actually paint and make graffiti make sure to come here and also make sure to take a picture of your piece of art because it might be gone the next day you come here for example just a couple of days ago I was standing right here and I took that picture with the beautiful polar bear painting next to me but it's not there anymore it's gone but here's another big piece there was a bunch of people creating this one 
together it's only entertainment it says it says live live as our tours on Scandinavian dot live so I'm doing this tour in collaboration with Scandinavian dot live which is a platform that shows different kind of live events music and art galleries and ice swimming and ice hotel melting and all sorts of cool stuff so make sure to check that out as well here we have another in my opinion really beautifully colored thing again i can't really tell what it says there but i would be happy to have this as as so as a wall in my own home it's such a beautiful uh, piece of art uh, there's a question if, uh, if there are street art festivals where artists get paid for their work. Actually, I don't know. As far as I know, all of these pieces are just here uh, because people want to make them. And there's, by the way, there are the rules, which explains exactly what you can do and what you can't do. But I already told you those. So yeah, nobody who's making these are getting any money for this. Um, there probably could be some street art festivals. I can look into it and maybe I'll write a little blog post about street art in Helsinki and I'll look into that topic as well. Just around the corner and you find something totally different again. Another really current topic in addition to Mother's Day <laughs> seems to be virus. Corona has inspired people with their creativity. And then somebody has, I believe this one, it says Jonne45, and Jonne is a Finnish name, so maybe this is his birthday gift to himself, or maybe his friends painted to him. It's quite a cool way of, or cool activity for bachelorette or bachelor parties to come here with a bunch of friends and paint your own piece of art you just need to bring your own own uh, paints of course and maybe if you can find some pro who can tell you how to make beautiful graffiti art that would be even better and now we are about to leave Suvilahti area behind. We're gonna move on to the other cool area which is called Teurastamo. Uh, there you won't find as much graffiti but it's more of an urban, urban culture place and also really 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 cool place. The whole neighborhood here is called Kalasatama and uh, there you have some new um, new apartment buildings and this whole area is developing all the time while we are making our way to there just behind that building we just need to cross the road first I can also tell you about another cool do-it-yourself project that's nearby and that one is called Somba Sauna. There's a lot of traffic now, I hope you can still hear me. Now, Somba Sauna is a sauna and it is by the Baltic Sea. But the trick is that it's not, you don't need to pay anything to enter Sampa sauna, but you do need to bring your own firewood. So it's wood fired sauna, it's a small one, and that one also promotes community spirit. So there's no real owner to that place. The idea is that when you visit, you leave the place uh, in more neat and clear way than it was when you came there. I actually haven't been there myself yet and right now public saunas are 
being closed as well even though we've heard that coronavirus could be killed in uh, hot temperatures and saunas obviously are hot so it would make sense but yeah for the reason that all the viruses can spread in the dressing rooms and stuff like this uh, it makes sense that they are closed at the moment now I'm taking you around the corner there's not that much exciting things happening here <laughs> just the normal area where people live but then there's also actually really cool cafe and design sh uh, shop just there normally when it's open and there's also plenty of cool restaurants and their neighborhood just to this direction is called Kallio and Kallio is kind of hipstery area in a way and now I was passing by a gardener's, gardener's shack called uh, company there. I wonder what it is. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see, was there any questions that I have missed so far while we're making our way towards street art? Yes, very good. I have a comment from Italy saying there is an acronym describing that kind of lifestyle. L NT leave no trace exactly spot on so basically leave nothing but your footsteps take nothing but pictures and memories oh dear my goodness really loud machines here <laughs> but yeah let's uh, let's focus on our next destination a little bit a little bit more so <laughs> the next destination, as I said, is called Teurastamo. And Teurastamo means butcher house. So in 1933, the whole area was built. And there used to be butcher shop and uh, uh, what is it called? Cross sales. Mm. Well, shops selling food and things for companies. And uh, it still uh, still functions as such as well. There are some uh, places where you can go if you own a restaurant and you can buy things in bulk. But also, uh, within the recent years, since 2012, I believe, it has been developed as an urban culture center as well. Here we have a bit of murals right behind me. It's not so difficult to see murals in Helsinki, but within the past maybe five years or so, we have seen more and more of them. And actually that's one of the reasons why I'm thinking about writing a little blog post about all these places, because you can find really beautiful street art, you just need to know where to look for. And you need to have a bit of patience because it takes time to get from one place to another. I also know that there's uh, street art tours, like actual tours organized by street artists, um, that would normally be happening around Basila neighborhood, which would be behind me. I was planning on going to one of those, but then Corona cancelled all events, so obviously I couldn't go there. Now we need to wait until we have green light, and then we can continue under the bridge to the other side. You can already see the Rastamon area right there. But while we're here, I can also show you uh, the newest and tallest skyscrapers of Helsinki. One of them is ready and the other one is just about to be ready. Under them there's also a big big uh, shopping center. So in case you come here you will find supermarkets and can pick up some food from there. 
and have a little picnic. Or uh, actually in Suvilahti, where we were just a moment ago, there's also a also brewery, local brewery, which uh, is brewing beer, called Stadim Panimo. Uh, really cool place as well, they also organize guided tours. I was again supposed to go on a tour with them uh, in April, but it will need to wait for a bit. In the Teurastamo area where we're going, you will find a local distillery, uh, which is specializing in gin. Those of you who know me would know that I love gin. Uh, I think it's the best uh, spirit out there that lifts, lifts your spirits. And uh, they organize tours as well and create some pretty, pretty fantastic cocktails. Hopefully we can all visit all of these places soon, soon, soon. Well, now looking at the watch, uh, it looks like we have done half an hour tour now. So if you need to continue with work, I totally understand. No worries. Uh, I will try and save this video and hopefully also be able to download it, uh, upload it to YouTube. We'll see how that all goes. But if you have time, then join me on this exploration of Teurastamo area. If you have traveled to the other uh, Nordic countries, there are similar areas like this. For example, in Copenhagen, uh, there's the meat, meat district that has the same similar kind of atmosphere. So it doesn't look like much from here, but you find, for example, cafes. This word right here, kahvila, means cafe. And Helsingin Kahvipahtimo is Helsinki Coffee Roasters. So when you are here in person, uh, use your sense of smell as well, because it usually smells really cool here, uh, like roasted coffee and uh, spices and all these kind of things. And this area is also our common living room for Helsinki people under normal circumstances, obviously. So the idea is that you can come here with your bunch of friends, you can buy some beverages from the bar, maybe some handcrafted ice cream from the next place, uh, you can have lunch at Kellohalli, which is this big hall here, normally a lunch restaurant and also event venue, occasionally flea markets happening around here. And then we also have right in the middle there, that's a barbecue grill that's free to use for everybody. Uh, so you can have a barbecue party and use this garden as your, as your own backyard basically. Because a lot of people in Helsinki don't have their own backyards if they live in apartment buildings. So this is one of these community style uh, options for it. You can also find some uh, hammocks, chill. And then I see there's a question. Are there artistic community squats occupied places in Helsinki? Mm. I will need to get back to that. Unfortunately, I don't know exactly. I think there are, but it's uh, it's not as popular as in bigger cities like Berlin, for example, or places like this. And uh, then I also see here Helsinki long drink. Those of you who have been to Helsinki or Finland in general would know what long drink or a long gero is. Well, Longero, you can see it there actually. Longero normally is mixture of gin and grapefruit. This is a special one with pink grapefruit. This drink was developed for the 1952 Helsinki Olympic Games as a cocktail that 
you can just pour from the bottle uh, directly without needing to mix it because Finnish bartenders were not that talented back in those days. Nowadays, cocktail industry in <laughs> Finland uh, is definitely much better than maybe 50, uh, sorry, 70 years ago. Well, you see a little bit of uh, paintings here on the walls as well. And then you have a little bakery with a tiny little elf. And as you hopefully all know, Santa Claus comes from Finland, from Lapland. And uh, he has his elves all around the place looking and making sure that you are behaving nicely. This is also a new thing this year. They have added a little old, old school tram. So I think when they open again, uh, this bar will uh, allow people to have their drinks in a tram. That would not be the first tram in Helsinki where you can drink alcohol. Normally you can't drink alcohol in public transport, but there is a special tram uh, that allows that. And uh, now I believe I've done a lot of talking. Somebody come and stontu. Yes, stontu is uh, the Finnish word for these little fellows. Indeed. Now I hope you enjoyed this tour, this mini online tour uh, of Helsinki. And I hope to see you again next week. I'm planning on having uh, another little tour, but the team that time will be my favorite team, which is nature. Well, I love a lot of things, but nature is, uh, is my ultimate favorite thing. I don't know yet where exactly I will be doing the tour from, but remains to be seen. And uh, it will happen either here on Facebook or on my Instagram. You will find my Instagram and my Facebook both with the explore with Kati uh, keyword. You can also check out if you're curious. I have just recently launched my or soft launched my own website, which is also called explorewithkati.com. So feel free to check it out. That's where I will hopefully be posting some blog posts and some inspiration soon, soon, soon. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to...